what is happening? So I decided to make a quick video on math settlement in Sanctuary. Here we go. <clears throat> As you can see, the bodies are no longer no longer here. We still have a pool of blood, which is kinda unavoidable. Unless we get Cogsworth to fucking clean this bad boy up. I don't see it shifting anytime soon, sadly. So yep, you just pick them up, I shot their limbs off, bang bang bang. And then chucked them into the the river Aha! Aha! In fact, there he is there. Oh, get a room. <laughs> so, let's progress. As we get closer, you'll see, you'll notice that we have some. Uh, where the fuck is the guard? Where the fuck are you been? Come on, let's go. There we go. There we go. Get fucking moving. Here we fucking go, that's it. You j what's it's a fucking wall, come on. Come on, just just slide on past. Just move just fucking move. There oh come on. There we go, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere, there we go. See? See that wasn't too hard to man your fucking post. Oh come on, it's a fucking wall, you fucking mongo. There we go, you fucking retard. <coughs> so, here we go, guy. Here we go, here we go. So, as you can see over there, sanctuary. Yeah. We have many turrets guarding the entrance. See, we have machine, heavy machine gun turret, heavy machine gun turret, heavy machine gun turret, heavy machine gun turret. Then we have a light turret, which doesn't actually work for some bizarre reason. And missile launcher, and then over here we've got turret, turret, turret. And we have Greer, here we go. Hello, hello. It's to the main entrance. Open sesame. As you can see, everything's sort of nice and neat, even though we've had to use a collision control to get this on. Everything's nice and neat. And the whole, the whole of this sanctuary, the whole of this facility is all, is all platforms. Or most of it's platforms. I mean, you'll, see, you'll soon see. And you'll realise how much work went into this. Mother. To the right here, we have the, the trader post. So, if you've got your brown, you'll get your tattoos, your wild fruit, wild mutt fruit, whatever you want to call it. Then we've got the, the sort of maintenance room bench here I guess which is actually technically the the platform to this but hey ho it's still a bench then you've got your armor you've got your um what is this the 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 scavenging shit I don't even know what that does to be honest then you've got the weapons bench just all the benches you know and through here technically speaking I'm the maintenance man because this is my room with all the bobbleheads baby with all those motherfucking bobbleheads Mmm, yay. So here we go, the bobbleheads are there. Got all our legendary items. Oh, didn't want to do that. You can see. A lot of legendaries. And then more junk just kicking around. You've got stuff there, stuff in here, stuff in there, just lots of crap. And then. We have the bar, the bar which is right slap dab in the middle of everything. Some settlers doing fuck all, should be in a bed, we've got Buddy here, little beer dispenser dude. And this place actually populates during a certain period of time, so we'll just give it a little waity time. We'll just wait a little while and see if we can get them to show. Let's say 12 hours. Life still ain't perfect. There we go. Ah, look, see, everything's 
Just hunky dory. See, you've got the, the Voltec guy over there eating his noodles and rice. Noodles and rice, there you go. Got some guys here sharing a beer. This dude here, a little junkie dude, doing fuck all, just sitting about like a boss egg. And these guys are having a little chat, chat away, happy days. So there we go, guys. That's this little bar here. That's quite nice, I think. So, next. Next thing is kind of unfinished, to be quite honest. But it's sort of the armory. And when I say I'm finished, nothing's been done. <laughs> we literally have a suit of power armor, and that is it. And it, it just a suit of power armor doing fuck all, just in the middle of nowhere. And this is how you gain access to the I hope you realize how much you did the post here. Yep. I know exactly how much I I, I realize exactly what I did for you guys. You don't seem to realize what I fucking did. Blood, sweat, and tears, bitch. Blood, sweat, and tears. That's all I'm gonna say. Look. She has the ability to switch that bad boy on and off. It's a bit of a reach, but it's not too bad. I think that's quite feasible. I don't think it's too bad at all. And see, so it clips through the, the, the concrete there quite a bit, but ah, no one notices. Um, so yeah, that's that. We've got to walk down the side here in order to get out. And then over here, this is actually where the, the guards' quarters are. So yeah, it'll just be a little bed in here. But, as I say, it's not done. It's not complete. Sad. Sad but true. So, the next part is... The hotel. The hotel. So here we go. This is the, this is the entrance into the hotel. The only entrance. And here we have the reception. This, 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 bear in mind, this is not complete, guys. We have the reception with the pencil. Very handy, indeed. No paper. No nothing else. But we do have a pencil. Nice picture of farm. There you go. So yeah, the guys can come over here, have a cigar or a quick fag, sit down, put out, happy days, um, or put some tunes on. Why not? Just stick a few banging beats on and relax. Why not? And you've got some cartons, pack of cigarettes, all there, all the all the mod cons, everything you could possibly want. So we'll make it make our way up to the first floor. So this is absolutely nothing. I don't know what that, what this could be, but I guess it's just like a lounge area, maybe a sofa here, maybe. Who knows? So this is the the the, the living quarters, and there's only two rooms, sadly. It's a very small hotel. Um, this one here, nothing's been furnished either, guys. It's just a blank canvas to do whatever you want. The next one, again, not been furnished. Slightly different from the last one, but again, and that's a bit a bit awkward but we didn't notice that we didn't see that it's okay then we go up to the the leisure the leisure area here we go so we can get some pool on the go we do have a ball there we go happy days ball nothing else but one ball we'll eventually have the whole set but right now just a ball then we go over to the bar area and we've got some whiskey some rum some vodka lots of shit in here like purified water ice cold Gwinnett lager there you go and a nice sofa. And if after all those beverages you're feeling a little bit oh I need a pee sort of thing. We have a, a unisex toilet. And here we go. Hey, boom, boom, boom. Nice one. No, we are not misogynistic in the slightest. We do cater to both male and female and treat them equally, of course. So then up here we have the best room in the house. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this is gonna be, eventually, it's gonna be my little penthouse suite. And what the fuck are you guys doing up here? What the fuck is going on here? There's literally no way to get up here, so I don't know how the fuck they got there. It's quite freaky sometimes. When you fuck about with the collision control, as you see I've done, see that? See I didn't want a nice big, I didn't want a square, not that this is much better than a square, but I thought I want some sort of different angles on it so yeah so I, I needed the collision control and this was a pain in the ass to do it really was look at it it's fucking ridiculously bad um, but you won't notice that when the roof and everything's on so it'll be fine so yeah no idea how they got there but anyway I digress this will eventually be my penthouse apartment yeah 
So then we'll just uh, go down here and then we'll try and sneak down here. Oh. Oh, Christ. Yep, appears I'm stuck. Right, okay, I better get cl clutching control. How the fuck do you get this clutching control? Guys, bear with me two seconds. Um, hmm. It's been a while. Ah, oh, there we go. Yay, there we go. Finally. And then just a quick little TCL. Haha. Oh. -ha. Sorry. So, yeah, that was the hotel. Now we'll move on to the emergency supplies. Yeah, so this is our in house crop. We've got a couple of tato plants and we do have some water for, you know, those lengthy siege things that go on. You know, if you're ever under siege, there you go. This is why we have it in here. We also have an outdoor farm, I guess you could call it. And yeah, that's a lot. It's, a, it's, a, it's much more substantial, um, but this is just in case you know we, we get we get as I say get we're under siege. So yeah, that's why that is here. Um, over here we have some 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 rooms, some beds. Yeah, so this is just living quarters, but n nothing fancy. Just some shit. It's, uh, it's not complete. We'll get there eventually. We've got a nice toilet. Not hooked up at all, but. It's there, you can still have a piss, you just can't flush. Oh, some quality workmanship there. <laughs> so yeah, so, then we're going to move down over here to the emergency, to the, to the supply area that supplies the power, the emergency supply of power. We have exterior power, but this is the internal power, which really is only used for emergencies, but they're all on, three big generators, boom, boom, boom. And these work when the outside is destroyed, or as I say, we're under siege and we can't access it, or what happened, whatever. It's fully sustainable in and of in itself. In of itself. In of itself, yes. Then we have the supply cupboard over here. This is where all the guys supply their s put all their crap. Got some purified water. Obviously, this is um, early days. Uh, I'm sure they'll get more in here soon um, but yeah there's not much going on in here just now but we'll wait and see ya so we will move on to the okay so we'll move on to the shops guys move on to the shops so we have the weapons um, sadly he's not in at the moment he's actually asleep what time is it it is what time is it? Christ. Yeah, it's 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock in the morning, of course he's in his bed. There you go. But this is his shop. He will actually populate it. I'll show you later. This is the weapons. And he should really lock his doors. But I'll do it for them. Don't worry. And you've got the armor guy. He's in here. Works away on his armor. Okay. Armor. And you've got the clinic over here. Yeah, you've got all the right away, the buff out, the jet, you name it, it's here. Then, again, I'll close this door. You've got the clothing, the apparel master. Clothing over here, lots of different clothes. And we have general goods. Just got lots of crap in those boxes, just general shit. So yeah, that's that's the, that's that, guys. Um, we'll now move, up, move on up to the top level, which is only accessible through this this platform here. Um, so yeah, so you can actually oversee the whole of the facility. The whole, the whole upper part of this is uh, like this. Literally nothing else here. Don't know what this is gonna be. Hopefully something cool, but I really have no ideas. Any ideas? Just give me a comment, guys. See, see if we can think of something good to put in here. Um, we'll just have a quick run around here. <coughs> Uh, here, this was supposed to be fencing, but sadly, because this was basically on the edge of the, the workable space, um, the only thing that would actually fit in this tiny corner was, was this, which is a bit bizarre, but don't ask me, don't ask me. So yeah, that's why that's there. 
And this is the hotel, the side of the hotel. <coughs> See how it was awkward? Because every time you've got collision control, you've got the whole of the, the roof space. I really wish I'd done it the other way around. Building the hotel first and then... And then doing the, the platform, but... Hey ho. I like doing things awkwardly. And this, this is kind of like a stroke of genius. I don't know. It was the only way I could work around this part. So I decided to... Encompass it. Encompass? Encompass it? Let's say encompass. Um, so this is just a little platform. It's all blocked off, and then access this part. Yeah, the other, the other side. There you go. <coughs> Some turrets over there. Turrets there. Well protected. Well protected. Then we'll go down. There's a little dip in here. A little level. Boom, boom, boom. And this is the the rear, the rear, the rear of the facility, which I will show you very, very shortly. <coughs> so, the rear. It's only this door. That is the rear. And then we go into this, this sort of compound here. Um, we have the inner sanctum and then we just have the rear entrance. As you can see, Preston guards that part and McCready, he guards that section. Um, on this section, it's really just a, a missile turret that guards that part. Uh, and then obviously pressed in here with his with his gun, his laser rifle. Hey. <coughs> and then you've got the gate there. And uh, no other way in apart from that gate. And then over here, see we've actually got the... Why the hell is Cogworth up there? No idea. You've got a little facility in here. This is uh, guarded with three towers. If someone breaks into the, the sort of inner sanctum, you've got three turrets there. The sort of guard. This is how you maintain them. Go up these levels, and then the guards' quarters are actually in there. So yeah, and you just access it through there, and done. Happy days. McCready, he is guarding that section here, and it's mach heavy machine gun, and then heavy machine gun and a missile launcher guarding this section, which to me seems a little bit much, but never mind. <coughs> so here, this is all. This is all where. This is where the, p the riffraff stay, you know. You've also got the farm. A bit more substantial. Uh, I'm sure there's another farm kicking around somewhere. Maybe I deleted it, I'm not sure. And all these spaces are all livable. Uh, I don't think there's any beds in them, though. So. Oh, wait, there is. There's a couple. <coughs> yeah, there's a few. So, all these houses have got some sort of livable space in them. Um, and it's all walled off at this side. The only way you can actually access this sort of part is through the water, the water section, which I'll show you very shortly. So as I say, all of this is all blocked off. You can't access it. Um, and we've got this facility here with turrets on every corner of it. This is actually our exterior power. And here we've got all our generators to power the whole facility. Um, and I'm actually planning on having this upper section here, That's this is just like um, the pylon to take it, distribute it around the place. And you've also got the recruitment beacon there too. Um, I'm sure I've got another one on the top of that facility, but never mind. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to replicate this section and put it here. Because at the moment, this is just barren, this is just nothing. And you could just get, you c anybody can just get through here. Hence why we've got all that security at the front there. <coughs> so, um, the rest of it's walled off until we get to the, I don't know what this is going to be either, no idea, <coughs> but the rest of it's all walled off, see here, all walled off, until we get to the, the water purification part, where you access it through this little part here, go down here, fill your boots with water, sweep, 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 and then go back up. <coughs> so obviously you can't really do much with this, people have to come in and out, it's just one of those things. It's protected enough, it's got two machine gun turrets. And, I mean, if you're walking through water, you're going to get rads. Who wants to get rads, you know? So yeah, it's unlikely somebody would do that. <coughs> but, yeah, that is that is it, guys. Um, tell me what you think. Tell me if it's a piece of shit. Um, it most likely is, it's just my little take on it. I think it's quite cool in its own little way. Uh, but yeah, just tell me what you think, guys. Um, Thank y'all. Bye.